Hi, this is Jason Arf. I'm doing a follow-up to a conversation we had just a little bit ago about economic development. And uh, we kind of went through the whole menagerie of economic development entities that we have. Uh, this is a few of them. We mentioned a few others. Uh, last time, I guess one that we left out was the, the legacy fund. A lot of times that's used for economic development stuff as well. Um, all right, now that we've introduced the characters, you get into kind of the problems of central planning. Each one of these has their own initiatives, their own agenda, their own plans, and their own ways of benefiting their own constituencies. Um, and a lot of these constituencies may not be the same people that, uh, that, you, that I'm representing, the people in my district, uh, the, the, the voter, the average person. Um, the, their constituency may be a developer that has a plan to make himself a lot of money using public resources, um, having the public take all the risk, or they take all the gain. Uh, for instance, the, the electric works, which we have quite a few videos on. Please check those out. Um, but almost all of these are kind of following that same game plan where they kind of set up the board where it's they win, you lose no matter what. And that's what we call economic development in government. That's why government shouldn't be involved in economic development. Um, we should be the, the force that makes sure that there's no fraud that's going on uphold the laws, uh, make sure that, that people's property rights are being respected, um, and, and provide public infrastructure. But beyond that, we shouldn't be in the business of picking what it is that we're going to do, um, how much we're going to do, and, and who's going to benefit from doing it. I mean, right now, we've got businesses that come to us and ask for, for um, the ability not to pay taxes, or to have the city do their bonding for them, or to, um, you know, to, pay for a portion of their development so that way they can grace our presence with their presence. Um, those types of things. Those are all reasons why we shouldn't be involved in economic development to begin with and, and why it would be easier just to pick a tax, like the business personal property tax, eliminate it to create an environment that attracts capital, attracts uh, production, um, that, that we're producing things that are that going to grow um, our, our, our wealth, our capital base, and uh, put a lot of people to work as opposed to um, playing Monopoly with pieces of uh, real property in the county. So um, anyway, this is a follow-up to a previous video. Just wanted to make sure I tagged on these ideas to uh, some of the issues that we have with economic development. Uh, thanks again. I'm Jason Arp. Please subscribe, share these videos, and to get more information, go to jasonarp.com. Thanks.